Hi guys, this is Kumar. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview of cell membrane. So as you know, the cell membrane is also called as the gateway to the cell. And cell membrane is found in both the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic cells. So as the cell membrane not only regulates uh, what comes in and what goes out, but cell membrane is also flexible and allows some of the unicellular organisms like bacteria to move. So as you can see in this picture that there is a unicellular cell having flagella and it's trying to move. So the cell membrane is quite flexible and it helps the single cell to move. And what are the other functions of the cellular membrane? It balances the internal condition of the cell uh, and also called as equilibrium. As you know, when it balances the internal condition, that is called as the homeostasis. And it also controls what enters and leaves the cell. So some of the functions of the cell membrane or the plasma membrane is it is protective barrier it inhibits the entry and the exit of the material. It regulates the transport in and out of the cell. So it's selective because it only allows a specific objects to go inside and exit the cell. It provides anchoring site for the filaments of the cytoskeleton. So the, as you know, the cytoskeleton gives the structure to the cell and are kind of the bones to give the cell the structure. So this is the structure of the cell membrane and we are going to discuss it in detail about this. So a membrane components are basically the phospholipids. So as you can see, uh, these are the phospholipids and some of the cholesterols. These are the cholesterols and the proteins. So these green stuff are the proteins. So basically the cellular membrane is having phospholipids, cholesterol and proteins. So let's see what is a phospholipids. So as the name suggests phospho means it is having phosphate and lipids mean the fat. So this part is having the phosphate. So you can say the head part is having a phosphate and the tail part is having the lipids or the fats. So as you can see here, there are carbon hydrogen chain all attached together with a double bond. So when you are looking at a phospholipid structure, it contains two fat fatty acid chains. So you can see these are the two fatty acid chains which are attached with the phosphate as a head. And this phosphate is or the head is polar. So what does polar mean? It has a charge which is a negative charge and it loves water. So the polar end loves water and the tail part is non-polar. That means it hates water. So overall, when you look at the phospholipid structure, the phosphate are at the head and the tail is constituted of the fatty acid. And there are two in number. I would like to give an example of muscos when I'm talking about the phospholipids. So how the phospholipids are uh, similar to the muscox. So if you see a bunch of muscos together and they see a predator, so they will, they will form a kind of heads all together towards the predator and the tails inside. So these heads are going to protect the baby muskox which are towards the inside of the group 
So these heads are outer side, they protect, and the baby musk ox are inside. So similarly, the phospholipids also inhibits the entry of any substances into the cell. So when we are talking about the cellular membrane, we talk about a model, which is a fluid mosaic model. So why we are talking about fluid mosaic? Because it's made up of two constituents. One is fluid and one is mosaic. Why we call that as a fluid? Because individual phospholipids, which you can see here, and the proteins can move side to side within the layer, like it is a liquid. So fluid, like a fluid, these phospholipids and the proteins are moving side to side. And when we are talking about mosaic, because of the pattern produced by the scattered protein. So you can see one of this protein, this protein, these are the protein molecules which are kind of scattered in the phospholipid layers. So that way we call that as a fluid mosaic model. So let's look into more in detail of these. So as we have discussed earlier, it is a bilayer. So you can see two layers of phospholipids. So they are having facing tail towards each other and the head on the opposite side. So the polar heads, the polar means they love water, or we can say they are hydrophilic. That means they are water loving. And the non-polar tails are hydrophobic, which are means they're water fearing. So this bilayer of phospholipids makes the membrane selective in what crosses. So selective means it does not allow all the material to cross in the cell. So this is a detailed structure of the bilayer. So you can see one of the phospholipid here and it shows a polar hydrophilic head and a non-polar hydrophobic fatty acid tails. So there are two layers and the tails are facing each other and the heads are on the opposite side. So the cell membrane is made up of two layers of phospholipids and that's why we call that as a lipid bilayer. So what goes in? So when we are talking about crossing these phospholipids, some of the hydrophobic molecules pass easily and the hydrophilic do not. So those which are hate water, the molecules pass easy and those which love water do not pass easy. So what does it mean? Let's look into more detail. So when the material that are soluble in lipids, that is the hydrophobic, can pass through the cell membrane easily. So when I'm talking about hydrophobic, that means hate water, like some of the oils which hate water and not miscible in the water. So materials that are soluble in lipids can pass through the cell membrane easily. And what else that passes easily is the small molecules and the larger hydrophobic molecules. And the, some of the examples are oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water. So these are some of the molecules. The water is really small. And the larger hydrophobic molecules like oxygen and carbon dioxide, it passes through this membrane easily. So some of the ions which are hydrophilic, molecules larger than water and large molecules such as proteins do not move through the membrane on their own. So we are going to look into a different uh, video that what passes in and how the cell membrane allows to pass through that in. So just a summary of what we have learned up to now that 
The cell membrane is a bilayer. That means it is made up of two layers of phospholipids. And the phospholipids are having the head, which is a polar head, which is a hydrophilic and which loves water. And this is non-polar. That means this part of the tail, which is made up of two fatty acid chains, are a water hitting part. So these are, the tails are facing each other and the heads are on opposite side. So this cell membrane regulates what comes in and what goes out and is a selective uh, membrane. That means it does not allow everything to pass through. So in the next video, we'll be looking at how the cell trans, uh, the various transportation of the material uh, happens. So till then, uh, study smart.